what are we protecting when we say we're protecting this beautiful thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us but if we corrupt it there's no point so that was everything I had to say to you I hope it was simple enough Jazakallah khair um, I was asked to give time for question and answers so I will do that now um, I don't think I said anything complicated, so it probably won't be many questions, but uh, go for it, guys. Is that, is that okay? Okay. How am I on time? I have no idea. Okay. Question? Yes, sister. What surah was that? That's surah, uh, surah Shams. Um, it is in the final chapter, uh, Shams, which is the, the sun. Uh, so... It's the same, almost the same formulation is actually used in um, Surah very close to Surah Allah, where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, um, "Oh my gosh, I'm Surah Allah." How does he say? It? Yeah, but how does he say it in Surah Allah? I'm forgetting. <laughs> yes, is a qualified. tazakka, right? So a similar formulation. I didn't talk about that much. I, I'm assuming that the speakers will get into the details of tazkia and the beautiful ways it's presented in the Qur'an, they're far more qualified to do things like that than I am. But um, if, you, if you look at um, the instances where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala... For example, I'll do this just because I, I have it here, why not? Um, in Surah Shams, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالشَّمْسِ وَدُحَاهَا وَالْقَمْرِ إِذَا تَلَهَا وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا جَلَّاهَا وَالْلَيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَاهَا وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَاهَا He's swearing and he's swearing and he's swearing and he's swearing. He's just, he's making these promises, right? He says, I swear, I swear, I swear. If somebody came up to you and got in your face and said, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, right? And swore by all these things that this person had power over, right? You'd pay attention, right? Okay, okay, you swear, you swear, I got it. What are you swearing about? I swear. كَذَّبَتْ ثَمُودُ بِتَغْوَاهَا إِذِنْ بَعْثَ أَشْقَاهَا Oh, I'm skipping. وَنَفْسِهُمْ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا This is the last thing he swears by. وَنَفْسِهُمْ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا I swear by the, by the, self, the soul, nafs, وَمَا سَوَّاهَا the one, And by the one who formed it and perfected it in its formation. He's swearing even by himself. I swear by myself. فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا That's what I'm trying to get to. Is that what I'm Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Alham here, the word alham, means to, it comes from the root word meaning to swallow something, if something is made to swallow something else, to envelop it, right? And he says that about people. He says, I make people envelop something, right? Also understood as, I make people, you know, if someone says like, that's tough, but, you know, um, uh, I forget the, the saying, but, like, you know, that's tough, but, you, you know, you got to swallow it, right? you got to swallow the, everything that, you know, life throws at you, right? you just got to move on, right? So, Allah SWT is using a similar uh, statement, a, a similar idiom, where he says, فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا I make them swallow, I make them swallow this pill, right? they got to swallow that pill, they got to acknowledge it. Because it's clear to them. Ujuraha wa taqwa. I make them swallow the pill. I make them acknowledge that ujuraha. Right? That within them there is this there is this capability of absolute neglect. There is this capability of absolute uh, chaos and and disrepair, right? Of absolute and unadulterated uh, liberty and freedom that that leads people down to the most strange of paths. And then he compares that on the other side with وَتَقْوَاهَا and their ability to guard against that. Their ability to self-discipline. Right? The exact opposite of Ujul, right? So the riddles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts near these statements where he says uh, he says that, you know, that the one who purifies it will be successful and the one who is a failure is the one who uh, is the one who um, uh, is the one who corrupts it, 
right? He puts, and what is it? So, so that's what we're asking. And so he's saying that this concept, this ability that you have within yourselves to tell between right and wrong, it's a simple thing, right? But every day we corrupt it, right? So this gives you a little bit of insight on tazkiyah in, you know, within yourself, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created you, right? We have so many sciences that study how we've been created physically, right? And we even have sciences now that study how we've been created psychologically, right? In, in uh, some of the great works of the Islamic scholars, they study how the human being has been created spiritually, right? What is the spiritual makeup of a human being, right? Imam Ghazali talks about this extensively, right? And this is one of the areas where he focuses, where this is one of the ayat that he really hits hard on, that this concept of, of purification has a has a uh, a formation in what you are made up of, right? Your your uh, soul is made up in a certain way, right? And just as your physical body, you feed it certain foods to maintain it, your spiritual self also needs certain things to be maintained. So I know that was an absolutely tangential answer to what you asked, but I just wanted to mention it. Anybody care? Any other questions? I'll try and not answer so long. Yes. So you're a cop? <laughs> no. No, no, I, I know you walked in the middle of the story and you're like, no, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> did, did they make cops here? Yeah, I, I didn't know for certain, but I'm not a cop. So, in which case, they'd let me keep the beard? Um, I'm just a student, really, just like you. Yeah. Good question. It's a hand raise now. Okay. All right. I guess that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, actually, can I say one more thing? Uh, so I can. Um, she's gonna hate me for this, but my wife is right back there. Uh, and she's expecting. I love it. It's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, so please make dua for her. It's, we got like uh, less than a month to go. So um, yeah, I think I get some odds out of that. <laughs> so yeah, please do make dua for myself and my family. So that's uh, that would be very kind of you. Can you guys give it up one more time? So, I'm going to be really honest, um, I don't know where I've been for the last three years, this, um, what Brother Karma had to say, I feel like a veil has been lifted from my eyes, um, and I hope you guys feel somewhat similar, because that's, that's exactly what our events for this year month aim to do, um, a lot of people, um, or I've heard from people, it's like, oh, do you guys hold social events? Um, yes, that's part of it, but our MSA needs to hold um, events that help us um, spiritually. So that's where we have the scam month. Um, and hopefully you guys come out to the next few events. Um, so next uh, Thursday, February 20th, we have uh, Inshallah Ustad Hassan al -Wan. And then the Thursday after that, we have Sheikh Kamal al -Maki. He's going to be coming here and then heading over for al Maghrib class. So you guys can go for that as well if you really like his talk here um, that Thursday. And then the Tuesday after that, we have, inshallah, Imam al Imam al Bakri. So, inshallah, like, alhamdulillah, we have an amazing lineup of speakers. But here's, an, here's a request. Um, if you're coming just yourself, don't come. Because this will benefit you, but you need to bring someone else to share that benefit. Um, and I don't mean it in any harsh manner and saying don't come if it's just you. Grab friends and have them come. Someone who hasn't come out. To say, look, I went to something last week and it really touched me. I hope it did. And bring that friend to the next event. Because these are for you guys. These are to affect you guys and hopefully change the way you think. So next week, we have, inshallah, Hassan al Imam Hassan al um, So, Or sorry, Ustad Hassan al Um, I think it's the same name. I don't know. You'll see it on Facebook. Um, but bring a friend with you. And they don't have to be Muslim. Just bring them with you, inshallah. They can benefit from that. Um, so, uh, one other announcement is that um, uh, Eska Fayaz is running for Senate, and this is really important because next week, um, February 18th to the 21st, we have um, elections. So, please come vote for Eska Alhamdulillah. She is like, this will be a Muslim voice on our Senate, so I'll be really beneficial on many levels. Um, and then, um, 
to close the event. Um, are you done? Is it okay? Oh, sorry. Uh, so to make it, uh, hopefully you learn. You were paying attention and you learned a lot. Um, and so we're gonna turn that into not a quiz. No, we're not trying to like. Um, <laughs> we're not trying to give you more tests to worry about. But uh, by tomorrow night, we're gonna have a quiz posted. Um, you can answer the questions. It should be pretty straightforward. And then it's kind of like a raffle. So um, for all the events, uh, whoever submits quizzes, not everyone will get a prize, but we'll do raffle from the people who submit answers to the quiz. And then Shala will announce it on our Facebook page, and you can pick up the prize um, from the tables, inshallah. Um, is there, how does that sound, everyone? This, we don't want to hold you accountable, but we want to give out prizes, so this is our way of giving out prizes. So, is that, um, okay, so yeah, our next event is here. So this room, hopefully, is packed, and we don't have enough space that there's people sitting here, inshallah. So I'll bring people with you, um, and that's good. How many, can I just ask you, how many of you have actually heard uh, Hassan Al-Wan speak? Okay, so it's not, not as many people as it should have. Um, he will make you cry. Like he just, he's, out of all the speakers that you know, were listed off, I, got, I heard cheers for Aladdin and Bakr, he's amazing, absolutely. But Hassan al is just this incredibly unique and sensitive guy, like, mashallah, he's He just amazing. smiles all the time, <laughs> and he's going to make you smile. Yeah. So if you have midterms or exams, come to that, because you'll be really happy. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> and you'll feel motivated to, like, ace all your exams. Um, inshallah. Alright, so with that, we're going to end um, this event. Uh, before we go anywhere, I want to end uh, with uh, Surah Shams, uh, because that was brought in. Um, and here, are you, I'm sorry, are you, are you comfortable with that? Okay. <laughs> sorry, this was so last, uh, sorry. Okay. Um, so, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس وضحاها I bear I swear by the sun and its brilliance والقمر إذا تناها and the moon when it follows the sun والنهار إذا جلاها and the day when it shows it والليل إذا يغشاها and the night when it draws a veil over it والسماء وما بناها and the heaven and him who made it والأرض وما طحاها and the earth and him who extended it ونفس وما سواها and the soul and him who made it perfect فأنهمها فجورها وتقواها then he increased it to understand what is right and wrong for it قد أفنح من زكاها he will indeed be successful who purifies it. وقد خاب من دساها. And he will indeed fail who corrupts it. كذبت ثمود بتغواها. Thamud gave the lie to the truth in their inordinacy. إذ بعث أشقاها. When the most unfortunate of them broke forth with. فقال لهم رسول الله ناقة الله وسطياها. So Allah's Apostle said to them, Leave alone Allah's she camel and give her to drink. But they called him a liar and slaughtered her. Therefore their Lord crushed them for their sin and leveled them with the ground. And he fears not its consequences. Allah. Oh,